Welcome to the course 3034 Mechanical Engineering. In this lecture, we are discussing about measurement of pressure. So, first of all, we are discussing about barometer. So, barometer is a device used for measuring atmospheric pressure. So, we have studied about different values, different units used for measuring pressure, and we have studied the value of atmospheric pressure and uh, value of atmospheric pressure P A T M is equal to 101.325 Pascal. So the device used for measuring atmospheric pressure is known as barometer. So in this figure you can see a, a simplified arrangement of barometer. So generally barometer consists of a tray filled with mercury. Uh, so we know that mercury having a symbol Hg. Okay, so there is a container filled with mercury. So into that container we are inserting a test tube in inverted position. So and generally the shape of a test tube will be like this. So we are inserting the test tube in inverted position to this mercury. So what will happen? You know that in the surface of liquid mercury, atmospheric pressure is acting on the surface of this mercury. So PATM is acting on the surface of mercury. So due to this atmospheric pressure, this atmospheric pressure pushes the mercury into this test tube. So what will happen? The mercury will rise in this uh, test tube and it will reach up to a height of H. Okay. So H is the height of mercury in this test tube. So, so from this how we can find the uh, atmospheric pressure? So here now we are considering this section, this column of mercury. So that is illustrated here. So there is a, a liquid column of height h okay so the pressure p atmosphere is acting here so due to this pressure p a t m will be equal to rho g h around 760 mm of mercury so it is another unit of atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is also represented as P A T M is equal to 760 mm of mercury. Okay. So in a barometer, uh, if you are measuring the atmospheric pressure using barometer, you can see that the level of mercury rise in the glass tube will be 760 mm of HG or 76 centimeter. Now, we have to study various devices used for measuring pressure of a fluid. So, the fluid may be stationary or fluid may be flowing. The fluid flow may be through a pipe or it may be an open channel flow. And we have to find the pressure of that fluid. So, generally we are uh, using two devices for measuring the uh, fluid pressure. The first one is a manometer and second one is mechanical gauge. So in this course, we are uh, really discussing about manometers. So we will study various types of manometers and we will study how to find pressure of a fluid using manometer. So how we can define manometer? The manometers are defined as the devices used for measuring the pressure at a point in a fluid by balancing the column of fluid by the same or another column of fluid. So what is what is meant by this balancing the column of fluid by the same or another column of fluid? So for understanding this, we can consider again our uh, barometer. Here you can see that for measuring the atmospheric pressure that is atmospheric pressure is acting on the surface of this mercury 
in the container so p atmosphere is acting on the mercury surface for measuring this p atm or atmospheric pressure we are using a glass tube or a inverted test tube so what will happen there will be a rise of mercury in this glass tube and we are measuring the height of liquid column this is we are measuring this height so the p atmospheric or atmospheric pressure is measured with the help of this height of mercury column similarly in manometers also the pressure at any point in a fluid is calculated with the help of the height of fluid column sometimes it may be the same fluid or sometimes you may use some different fluids in the case of barometer we are using the same fluid we are using uh, atmospheric pressure is acting on the surface of mercury so for finding that pressure we are using a mercury column there is a mercury column having height h similarly uh, we will use this concept for calculating the pressure using a manometer then what is the purpose of this manometer manometers are commonly used to measure small and moderate pressure differences a manometer mainly consists of a glass or a plastic u tube containing one or more fluids such as mercury water alcohol or oil so the manometers can be classified into simple manometers and differential manometers so we will discuss uh, these two simple manometers and differential manometers in detail in the coming slides okay so manometer it will be glass or plastic and sometimes it may be a simple vertical tube or sometimes it may be a u tube okay so it may contain either mercury or water or alcohol or oil depending upon the pressure we have that we have to find so first we are going to discuss about simple manometer simple manometer are used for finding the pressure of a fluid at a particular point we have to find the pressure of a flowing fluid or a stationary fluid we are using a simple manometer so there are two types of simple manometers one is piezometer and another one is u tube manometer so what is piezometer piezometer is the simplest form of manometer okay. so in a piezometer there will be a this simple pipe a vertical pipe as shown in this figure A single glass tube uh, one end of this manometer is connected to the point where pressure is to be measured and the other end remains open to the atmosphere the rise of liquid gives rise gives the pressure head at that point so the piezometer is used for finding the gauge pressure at a particular location now we can check how we can use this piezometer for finding the pressure of a fluid so consider a pipe So we have a pipe. Through this pipe, a fluid is flowing. Now I have to find the pressure at a point A. A is the point in the pipe where we have to measure the pressure. So what we will do? We will attach a single vertical tube. At that point so when you are attaching a vertical tube what will happen the fluid will rise in this tube up to a particular height but up to a particular height fluid will rise. so by measuring the height of liquid column in that tube we can find the pressure at that point pa so the pa will be rho g h P A pressure at point A will be equal to rho G H, where rho is the density of fluid in this pipe. This is the acceleration due to gravity. H is the rise of liquid in that piezometer tube. So here you can see another arrangement. So this is the cross section of the pipe. Suppose there is a pipe through which a fluid is flowing. We have to measure the pressure inside this pipe. So we are attaching a piezometer. So this, this is a circular pipe. The cross section is given here. 
we are attaching a piezometer like this. One end of the piezometer is connected to the point where the pressure is to be determined and other, another end is open to the atmosphere. So due to the pressure of fluid flowing through this pipe, there will be a level rise of liquid in this piezometer tube. So the uh, liquid level will rise in this piezometer tube and H is the level of liquid. H is the height of liquid in the piezometer above the point where we have to measure the pressure. So is the point A is the point where we have to measure pressure. So this is the point which is in the same line of that of A. So from that position or from point A, the distance to the top surface of liquid in the piezometer is H. So if rho is the density of liquid and G is the acceleration due to gravity and H is the rise of liquid in piezometer glass tube, then pressure, gauge pressure at point A will be equal to rho g h where h is the height of water uh, liquid in the piezometer tube. This is the most simplest device used for measuring the gauge pressure of a liquid uh, which may be flowing through a pipe or it may be a stationary fluid. So another type of symbol manometer is U-tube manometer. From the name itself we can understand that a U-tube manometer consists of a tube bent in U shape. Generally, it may be a glass tube. Sometimes you may use plastic tubes also. So, it comes of a glass tube bent in U shape. One end of which is connected to a point where the pressure is to be measured and the other end remains open to the atmosphere. And inside that tube, there will be a liquid. Uh, that liquid may be mercury or any other liquid whose specific gravity is greater than the specific gravity of the liquid whose pressure is to be Measure. Now we can understand how can how we can use a U tube manometer for measuring pressure at a point. Now consider consider a container. So there is a something there is some gas or a fluid, a liquid or something is kept inside this container okay now I have to measure the pressure inside this container so, so, so similarly a container is shown here you have to measure the pressure inside this container so what do we have in our hand we have a u-tube this is a u basically a u-tube manometer so uh, here we can see there are three figures this is figure number one figure number two and figure number three so figure one two three shows three u tubes so generally uh, there will be u tube manometer now in this case this is the left limb of the u tube manometer we will call it as left limb and this is the right limb and so in this is inside this u tube manometer there will be a liquid okay so the liquid containing in this manometer is known as manometric fluid manometric fluid okay so what is what is the nature of this manometric fluid the man the density of the manometric fluid will be generally greater than that of the fluid whose pressure is to be measured. For example, if you are, if you have to measure the density of water, suppose this vessel contains water and we have to measure the density of water, then we will use a manometric fluid in the uh, manometer that may be mercury. Why we are using mercury? Because mercury is having a specific gravity of 13.6 while the specific gravity of water is 1 or the density of water rho w density of water is 1000 and density of mercury is 13600 kilogram per meter cube so uh, suppose we have to measure the pressure of water we may use mercury or any other liquid which is having more density than water or which is having more specific gravity suppose uh, we have a we have to measure the pressure of air
suppose we have to measure the pressure of air so what do we what will we use we can use water as the anemometric fluid for example uh, this container is containing air and we have to measure the pressure of air inside this uh, container so what we are doing we are using a man youtube manometer having a manometric fluid manometric fluid is the fluid uh, contained in this youtube so that manometric fluid may be water we can use water for measuring the pressure of air why because water is having more density compared to air so generally suppose this is the consider this first figure this is a youtube both end of the youtube are open to atmosphere we are not connected the left limb and right limb to any other point so this is the le left limb and this is the right limb both are open to the atmosphere so what will be the condition so the liquid level in the left limb as well as the right limb will be same the liquid level in the left limb as well as right limb will be same that is the pressure acting at this point pressure acting at the this point and pressure acting at this point so these two pressures are same so there is a uh, common um, level in the left limb as well as right limb now suppose we are using this u2 manometer for pressure measurement now we have to measure the pressure of air suppose the atmospheric pressure is 1 bar and pressure inside this container is 3 bar actually we have to measure this pressure or uh, we can say we don't know the pressure inside that container We have to measure the pressure inside the container. Okay, so pressure P. We have to measure the pressure P of the container. Now, if pressure P is greater than P atmospheric pressure, suppose the pressure inside the container is greater than atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is one bar. Now, if you are connecting this YouTube manometer to this container, how we will connect? So, we are connecting, we can't connect directly. So, uh, if the YouTube is like this, this is the YouTube. So, how we will connect? This is our container. And to the container, we will connect it like this. Okay. So, as shown this figure. So, what will happen? one end that is this left limb is connected this is the left limb the left limb is connected to a point where we have to measure the pressure that is we have to measure the pressure inside this chamber the air pressure and the right limb is open to atmospheric right limb is open to atmospheric so here the pressure acting at this point is p atm because it is open to atmosphere the pressure is one bar one bar is acting here and here since the pressure is greater than atmospheric there will be a pressure the pressure acting at this point will be greater than one bar why because this is directly connected to a point directly connected to a container where we have to measure the pressure so the pressure inside this container is greater than atmosphere that we have already told so what will happen there will be a level difference in the mercury so that is illustrated in the figure 2 second figure you can see that here p, there is a p1 and p2 if p1 is greater than p2 that is pressure acting in the left limb is greater than pressure acting in the right limb under that condition what will happen p1 is greater than p2 p1 is greater than p2 so what will happen the liquid in the left limb will be pushed down and there will be a rise in liquid level in the uh, right limb since p1 is greater than p2 so here now this is p1 and the pressure acting at the 
right limb is P2. This P2 is P atmospheric because the right limb is open to atmospheric. If P1 is equal to P2, that is if the U tube is not connected to this container, so both tubes are open, so P1 is equal to P2. Under P1 equal to P2 condition, the level rise, the liquid level in both limbs will be same. If P1 is greater than P2, that is if the pressure inside the container is greater than atmospheric pressure or P2, what will happen? Due to the increased pressure, this liquid level goes down. This uh, P1 pressure, the liquid or fluid having this P1 pressure will push the liquid in the U2 manometer to downwards and there will be a rise in liquid level in uh, right limb. So, you can, we can note what is the level difference of that manometric fluid. This is measured as H. So, now in this figure you can see there is a level difference of manometric fluid. Using this level difference, we can find the pressure inside this container. That is, using this level difference, we can find the value of P1. That is the concept of U-tube manometer. So, here also you can see that due to this pressure uh, inside this container P1, uh, there, is a, there is a level rise, there is a level difference of uh, manometric fluid level. Generally, there will be a common level level in the left limb and level in the right limb will be same if it is not connected. If you are measuring pressure, there will be a level difference of manometric fluid in the U-tube manometer. That level difference is measured and with that, with the help of that level difference, we can find the pressure of the fluid. Now, take the another condition. That is the third condition is P1 less than P2. What is P1 less than P2? The pressure inside the container is less than atmospheric pressure. So, here P2 is atmospheric pressure. So, if the pressure inside this container is less than atmospheric, that means here pressure is vacuum pressure. That is, the pressure inside the container is less than atmospheric pressure. So, what will happen due to vacuum pressure? So, here P2 is more than P1. So, uh, the level, the liquid in the right limb will go downwards due to the pressure of the fluid acting on the right limb and there will be a level of, level increases in the left limb, level of liquid, level of manometric liquid in the left limb will be increased. So, here also we can find a level difference of manometric fluid. This is the level difference of manometric fluid in the right limb as well as le uh, left limb. So, the level difference in man of manometric fluid in right limb and left limb, right limb and left limb is used for finding the pressure using a U-tube manometer. Now, uh, with the help of another figure, we can uh, once again explain that concept. So, there are three figures, figure 1, 2, 3. Generally, uh, if the U-tube manometer is not connected to any point, both left limb and right limb left limb and right limb will be open to atmospheric so atmospheric pressure will be acting so the level difference uh, as indicated is the shaded a colored region this is the this is the manometric fluid this is the manometric fluid so here the level difference there is no level difference between the right limb and left limb so if there is a pressure is acting if it is connected for measuring a pressure greater than atmospheric what will happen due to that pressure the level of manometric fluid in the left limb reduces and correspondingly there will be an increasing manometric fluid in the right limb so we can measure the level difference of this manometric fluid that is h Similarly, if you are measuring vacuum pressure, if vacuum pressure, if you are measuring vacuum pressure, here the, the pressure is atmospheric and we are connected the left limb to a point where the pressure is less than atmospheric. So, here atmospheric pressure is greater. So, due to that atmospheric pressure, the manometric fluid will come down in the right limb and due to that, there will be an increasing fluid level in the left limb. Because whatever the liquid coming down in the right limb, that should be increased in the left limb. So, use, here also we can measure the level difference between two liquids. We can measure it as H. Using that value, we can find the 
pressure. Now here uh, the figure illustrates how we can use this YouTube manometer. Now we are measuring this simple YouTube manometer for measuring the pressure of a fluid flowing through a pipe. You can see a pipe here. Now a YouTube manometer is connected to this pipe as shown in the figure. So we are considering the cross section. The cross section of the pipe is shown here. This is the pipe and the one end of the YouTube manometer is connected at the side of a pipe. So uh, this figure can be, this is the actual figure that can be represented like this, a pipe and a YouTube manometer connected to that pipe. So now we have to measure the pressure at a point B using YouTube manometer. So that pressure is P. P is the pressure. And here, the level difference of uh, manometric fluid, there will not be any level difference Mano at the left limb as well as right limb, manometric fluid will be having at same um, position, there is no level difference. So when we are connecting this U2 manometer, this to pipe, pipe, due to the pressure, pressure exerted by this liquid, you can see that's a dotted line, this is one liquid. So the liquid exerts some pressure due to that pressure the level of manometric fluid in the left limb will be come down and the mercury uh, if you are using mercury the, there will be a mercury rise in the right limb. So here A this no this one is the level of mercury in the left limb and two is the level of mercury in the right limb. So the level difference is known as H2. So mercury level in the right limb minus mercury level in the left limb is H2. H2 is the level difference of mercury. So using this value, you can find the pressure. So we will illustrate the measurement of pressure using simple YouTube manometer with the help of problems. Okay. Now how we can uh, how we can use equations to find the pressure. Now consider this YouTube manometer. It's a simple YouTube. What is it? Be a simple YouTube manometer. A simple YouTube manometer is a device which consists of a YouTube. One end of the YouTube is connected to a point where the pressure is to be measured, and the other end is connect open to the atmosphere. So you can see one end this end is connected to a point where the pressure is to be measured and the other end is open to atmosphere so the pressure acting at the other end is p atmosphere pressure acting at the one end left limb is the pressure that has to be measured okay so here our aim is to measure the gauge pressure so all the devices instruments are measure gauge pressure okay so we have to measure the pressure at point b that is illustrated as uh, denoted as pb gauge pressure at point b now, so when we are attaching a YouTube manometer to a pipe, due to the pressure inside the pipe, the level there will be a level difference of manometric fluid. Now consider here this is water, the fluid flowing through the pipe is water, and the manometric fluid is mercury. Suppose the fluid flowing is water and the manometric fluid is mercury. So what is the condition of manometric fluid? The density of manometric fluid should be greater than the density of water. So that uh, we have already know the density of water rho w is 1000 kilogram per meter cube and density of mercury is thirteen thousand six hundred kilogram per meter cube okay now connecting the youtube manometer to the pipe the level difference will look like this so now we are drawing a datum line so how we are drawing a datum line we will draw a line a a a a is a line which is drawn through the interface of liquid and mercury in the left limb you can see that there is water and mercury water up to a particular height water up to a height of h1 and after that it's a mercury so in the interface between these two liquids we will draw a line okay so what is the peculiarity of this line above the line a a the pressure will be same so this is the reference line reference line is a a 
above the line a a the pressure will be same now what we will do is we will equate the pressure in the left limb as well as right limb okay so the first step is we have to measure uh, we have to plot a datum line reference line or a datum line and the second stage is equating pressure in the right and left limb this is the second step there are two steps first you have to identify the figure or understand the figure and plot the reference line then equating the pressure in the left, right limb and left limb so what is equating the pressure in the left limb and right limb now consider the point line aa what is the pressure acting above the line aa that is pb pressure due to fluid in the pipe that is pb b is the point pressure at point b plus pressure due to liquid column of height h1 so above the line a a you can see that there is a liquid column having height h1 so this is that liquid what is that liquid this is water so a water column having height h1 is there so in the left limb above the line a a the total pressure is pb plus rho w into g h1 So PB plus rho W G H1 is the total pressure in the above the line AA in the left limb. Now equating that pressure, equating that pressure with that of right limb. What is the pressure above the line AA in the right limb? The only liquid in the right limb is mercury. We are not considering the atmospheric pressure. Why? Because we are measuring gauge pressure. This pressure, this atmospheric pressure that we are not considering. Why? Because the atmosphere pressure is acting here also. Atmospheric pressure is acting everywhere. We are interested in finding gauge pressure, the pressure above that of atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, what is the fluid above the line A in the right limb? It is only mercury. So, rho H G G H2. So, the equation rho G H is our the main equation that is used for finding the pressure. Okay, so uh, the first step is uh, we will draw the uh, reference line. Reference line will be drawn through a point where there is a deviation in the type of fluid. So here it is water and there is a mercury. So this interface, we will consider this interface as the point where we have to plot the reference line. Okay, the point where the liquid changes. This is the interface. So this is our reference line AA. And we are measure we, now we are consider the only the top portion of this AA. We will consider left limb as well as right limb. In the left limb, the pressure acting on AA, the pressure acting on the line AA is PB, pressure in the fluid, pressure of the fluid plus rho W G H1. H1 is the height of water column, and which is equal to pressure acting in the line AA in the right limb rho h g into g h2 where PD is the, pb is the gauge pressure at point b rho w density of water rho h g is the density of mercury so if you want to find pb using this equation we can find the value of pb pressure at point b now with the help of any problem we can illustrate the measurement of pressure using symbol youtube manometer what is the problem the right limb of a simple youtube manometer containing mercury is open to the atmosphere while the left limb is connected to a pipe in which a fluid of specific gravity 0 0.9 is flowing the center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below the level of mercury in the right limb 
find the pressure of the fluid in the pipe if the difference of mercury level in the two limbs is 20 centimeter. So here in this question, the figure is directly given. The right limb, there is a U tube. The U tube will be having a two limb, left limb and right limb. The right limb of a simple U tube manometer containing mercury. So our manometric fluid is mercury. So our manometric fluid is mercury. So from we will denote as Hg. So we know the properties of manometric fluid uh, density. Density of mercury is equal to 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. It is not given but you have to know what is the density of mercury. So that is the details regarding to manometric fluid. The left limb is the right limb is open to atmosphere. So from the figure you can see This is the left limb. And this is the right limb. One is the left limb and the other one is the right limb. So the right limb is open to atmosphere. While the left limb is connected to a pipe. This is the pipe. The left limb is connected to a pipe. This is the pipe. In which a fluid of specific gravity 0 0.9 is flowing. Okay, so the density of fluid, density of fluid flowing through the pipe density of fluid flowing through the pipe i am denoting as rho how we will find this density here it is given specific gravity 0 0.9 so specific gravity into density of water that is the density of fluid if you are multiplying the specific gravity with the density of water you can get the density of that particular fluid so 900 kilogram per meter cube is the density okay now so uh, the details of two liquids are uh, obtained now the center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below the level of mercury in the right limb so in this figure you can see that this is the center of the pipe this center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below the level of mercury this is the right mercury this dark this is mercury the level of mercury center of the pipe is 12 centimeter below the level of mercury in the right limb okay 12 centimeter find the pressure of the fluid in the pipe if the difference of mercury level in the two limbs is 20 centimeter when you are connecting the youtube manometer we can see there will be a level difference in the mercury manometer. So this is the left limb and this is the right limb. The level difference of mercury is 20 centimeter. You have to find the pressure of the fluid. Okay. So here. This is the point where we have to measure the pressure. The pressure is P. Now we can write pressure of fluid in the pipe is equal to P and noting denoting symbol as P. Okay. Now there is two dimensions are given. Now here I am marking this dimension that is this is the center of the pipe this is the center of the pipe from the center of the pipe up to the datum level 
so what is the datum how 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 we are drawn this line a a a is the datum or reference line reference line is drawn through the point where there is an intersect where there is a uh, deviation fluid that is up to this point it is water and after that it is mercury so we are plotting the reference line through that point where there is a fluid change we will plot the reference line reference line is plotted through a point where the fluid changes from uh, pipe fluid to the manometric fluid okay so there is a reference line from the center of the pipe up to the reference line the height is not i am denoting it as h1 and this level difference 20 centimeter i am noting as h2 so we know h2 is equal to 20 centimeter so from this figure what is h2 h2 is equal to h1 plus 12 which is equal to h1 plus 12 so what will be h1 h1 is equal to 8 centimeter so this h1 will be 8 centimeter now now we are going to equate the pressures so here the pressure is p now equating the pressure pressure acting above the getting the pressure acting above the datum line in left hand right limbs that we are going to do so what is the pressure above datum line or reference line in the left limb that is p plus p is the pressure of fluid in the pipe so there is a liquid column of height h1 acting above the line a a in the left limb this h1 this height so which liquid is this this is the liquid flowing through the pipe having density rho so rho g s is the pressure due to that liquid rho g h1 rho g h1 that will be equal to pressure acting above the datum line in the right limb so what is the only fluid present in the right limb it is mercury for a height of 20 centimeter so rho g h2 okay so from this p is equal to rho h g into g into h2 minus rho g h1 so that will be equal to rho h g mercury density into 9.81 into what is h2 h2 is 20 centimeter but we can't take the value in centimeter why because the acceleration due to gravity is in meter per second square this 13.600 is in kilogram per meter cube you have to take h2 in meters that is h2 is actually 0 0.2 meter and h1 is 0 0.08 meter 0 0.2 minus density of fluid is 900 that we have determined earlier 900 into h h1 h1 is 0 So we will get the answer as 
25,976.88 Pascal. 25,976.88 Pascal is the gauge pressure at point B. Okay, go through this problem. We will do similar type of problems in the uh, coming lectures. Thank you.